Hey guys, League of Lockpicker here, and welcome to today's episode. A brief review of the week's credit card lockpick set starts on Monday, where we took a pink card from LeashyTools.com and dropped it off at the T-Can, where it will stay. Unfortunately, the pink card did not perform well at all. Um, one of the most notable things where there were only two profiles of picks... One was a deep hook and one was a medium hook. And a considerable amount of wasted space. They were very easy to bend under pressure and thus rendered them in the junksicle pile. Day two. Day two we took uh, a look at the titanium set from countycom.com. Uh, this set had a few more profiles than the pinks but ultimately fell fell short. Uh, according to the comment section, you guys did a number on talking about the titanium set and what it was lacking and how it could possibly be better if the right research had been done for this particular set. Uh, the picks were extremely large, however, um, when you put your fingers on the bottom of the tip, the place was very, very small. Wednesday, day three, uh, we cracked open of uh, the version one emergency pick card from Subtle Digs. Uh, unfortunately, at the time of the filming, I was unaware that there was a second version available. Uh, however, the profiles didn't change much, only their positioning. Uh, so my review stands for now. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I don't think they did much besides moving around and tumbled the picks a lot. Uh, but I'm not going to prejudge it before I take a look at it, of course. Uh, I, You guys really did enjoy the design on the handles at least according to the comment section and how these picks were built for longevity uh, and they did in fact put in one rake well excuse me two rake. they put in a triple peak here um, so it was still better than the previous and again unfortunately there was still a problem with uh, space management so hopefully that's going to change with today uh, the tool the tool.us emergency pick card, which is currently available at the tool.us website for $30. Uh, in case you didn't know, tool stands for the uh, Open Organization of Lock Pickers. It's an international group of lock picking enthusiasts dedicated to advancing the general public knowledge about locks and lock, pick, lock picking through teaching, research, and competition. Uh, I did want to pick Christina Palmer's brain about this particular set here, unfortunately. Uh, I reached out to her only 48 hours ago, and my schedule did not permit, permit of course. <laughs> it wouldn't permit it, so unfortunately, that's our loss. But hopefully soon, Christina. I promise we'll get around to that. All right, so let's take a look at the card here. Um, the card measures at 24 thousandths thick, and likewise, the same dimensions as a credit card. It comes in this neat little case and has six picks as you can see here uh, thankfully tool has included a four and five peak rake here as you can see uh, it also comes with a half diamond and that concludes the one side and the other side uh, let's see we have a reach medium hook and a larger hook uh, as far as pick selections compared to the previous card this is Christmas, respectively, of course. Uh, there is also a tension wrench down the center. It looks like a top of the keyway um, tension wrench. Uh, one side is larger than the other. I don't know if the sides were meant to be uh, on the bottom here, but I'm not sure. But they could be used as bottom of the keyway tension tools uh, if you bend them properly. So. This is only one of two sets that I have from the Tool 1, and I believe you just have to yeah, snap them in half and they pop out pretty quick. Um, yeah, this is much, good lord, this is much easier to break instead of the uh, other ones that we've been in contact with. So here's what I was talking about. Um, oh, that's pretty cool. You could break these here. All right, I'll do that. I wonder if this is, we'll bust out the, 
cut away. Let me see if this will work as a... No. Okay, so that doesn't work. Remember before, what we do is we stick the side piece in here at the bottom. Just a little bit. And then we bend it. Remember, these are emergency, so... Um, we're going to bend them. So here's what we do. We go in there and we bend it. And now we have a bottom of the tension tool here. So let's bust this out. All right, so compared to the other three sets, this is very smooth. You can see here, very smooth. has their logo on it. There's the rig itself. All right, just going to put a little bit of tension here. Oh, that is very smooth. Alright, so we did get an open on that one. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Not bad. Tool, not bad at all. Alright, so let's, uh... Let's check out the half diamond here. Let's try out the top of the keyway. So this side is longer than this one. I'm not sure if that was meant to be for bottom of the keyway. Or, uh... An extension for the top of the keyway. I'm not exactly sure. Hmm. Let's give it the old college try. I'm just gonna put it here at the bottom. And I, I have to tell you, wow, I have to tell you, you can see the uh, pins move up and down. Let me see if I can get a better shot at them. And the other ones that uh, we looked at this week, you really couldn't you couldn't do that. There was no using the half diamond or whatever. So we got an open there. All right, but there was no like putting a pin or putting the pick in and out because it would constantly get caught up on these barbs here on the side and things like that. That's very impressive. That's really impressive. So all right, very nice. You know, we should bust out this right here. We'll check that out and see how this works. You know, I'm going to take this. Let's try the reach. Yeah, we'll try the reach. And we'll, we'll, uh, we'll go top of the key. Remember, I know I have to keep saying this, but these are emergency picks. They're not meant for permanent use. However, there are ways to make them last longer. So, we'll... Put this reach in here. You do get good feedback. Hmm. This is uh, an art form, picking with these tools like this. And so getting used to it is is not easy. You lose a lot of leverage. So, wow, this, uh, mm, this is nice. Um, the fact that they give you uh, the rake for this purpose is great because single pin picking like this is, is, is dreadful. Uh, I'm sure I could use, we'll use the five peak one and we'll just see how long it takes to do it. Longer than I thought, right? <laughs> let's let's try to use the bottom of the keyway again, uh, and let's just try to rake that open. If we can, and like I said, very difficult. Come on, bottom of the keyway. Or there we go. We'll just give it one last try here, okay? Come on. Oh, we got, we did get it. All right, there it is. We got it. All right, so thanks for watching this video, guys. I really hope you got something out of it. Um, I do have one of these tool cards to give away, and it is brand new. So if you want to get that, you have to be a subscriber. Leave me a comment in the comment section below and tell me what you think about these, the tool emergency uh, card here. And 
Let me know if you see any flaws with it, any upgrades that you think should be done, how it compares to any of the other picks. Let me know, and I will pick uh, two others, and you can win. Uh, we have a couple of the win cards left, event cards left, so uh, be a subscriber, comment, and don't forget to share this video. And if I see the video shared on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, uh, Instagram, things like that. Those are the ones that uh, win these contests. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you tomorrow, Friday, for the much-requested Bent Lockmaster set. Guys, thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.